What's up again guys, Brian here at 3TR and welcome to another one of my series of top 10 video, movie video things. And uh, last week I did the top 10 worst movies of 2012 and now I'm going to do my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2013. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 10 on my list is Iron Man 3. Now I will just like to say this right now that after the trailer came out and after I saw it, this was however much much higher on my list, but after doing some research and seeing exactly what changes they're doing to the actual movie and what direction they want to take it to, uh, I will say this, the trailer is very misleading and apparently there's going to be a lot more humor into this one as I th as, than I thought there would be, so unfortunately uh, my anticipation for this went down significantly low. I'm just hoping it's better than the second one movie, although I don't think it's going to be as good as the first one, so that's why it's number 10 on my list. I still think it's going to be a fun movie, just not a great one. Going on to number 9, we have 300 Rise of an Empire, which technically is going to be a prequel to the Bow of Thermopylae, which was done in the first 300 movie. Uh, not much has been released on this movie, uh, except for who they've casted to be the main character. It's unclear if Zack Snyder is actually going to return to do, do this one. I mean, since he just finished uh, Man of Steel. Uh, but if he does, then I'm sure he'll be the right person to keep the same visual art style that the first 300 did. And although, in terms of action, I don't think it's going to be as good as, you know, as a history buff as I am, I think it's going to be a definitely interesting movie to watch to see exactly how they filmed Battle of Marathon, because it does lead into the Battle of Thermopylae. On to number eight, although I think I'm actually about to get darker, I have Sin City 2. Uh, I really enjoyed the first Sin City when it came out, I believe. Man, I can't think of what year it came out, but I, I thought it did a really, really great job of projecting the book, and although I'm pretty sure there's not a Sin City 2, I'm curious how they're going to continue the stories from the first movie, or they're going to make a series of different stories altogether, which, you know, it you know it could be a very good idea or a very bad idea. None of us know for sure. Nothing's really been released as for what's going to be in this one, but let's just hope when some information is released, I'll be sure to give out a good review on it. And to get into number seven, we have Oblivion. Now this is actually now there has been a series of post-apocalyptic movies that will be coming out next year. You know, we got this After Earth, uh, another one with Matt Damon, and out of all of them, this one definitely seems to be the most interesting. Um, it seems like perhaps there's some conspiracy as for what exactly happened on Earth during this battle. And I am a big fan of Tom Cruise. I really like that he likes doing all his own stunts, and for that reason, I'm going to make it out of all my apocalyptic movies, the one I'm looking forward to most. Visually, it definitely looks like a very clean, destructive movie, so only time will tell to see if it'll actually live up to that. And to get into number six, we have Riddick, which is the sequel to The Chronicles of Rick, and I know that some people didn't like The Chronicles of Rick. I personally did, and I actually saw it opening day, so the fact that they're bringing the Riddick, Riddick critic, <coughs> sorry, character back to do another movie, I'm interested in what direction they'll take it since, you know, last we left him, he was the king of an army now, so um, hopefully we'll try to go back to our roots, although that's very unlikely. I'm just hoping it's a good action movie with a decent story to keep us entertained for maybe an hour or two hours at most. And heck, you can't go wrong with the greatest convict in the galaxy, so. On to the next one, which we have is World War Z. And this is looking like it could be a very interesting zombie movie. However, I really don't like how, from what I can tell, all the zombies are going to be CG. And if you've seen the last trailer, it doesn't even look like they're zombies. It just looks like a big this wave of bodies. And I'm really not sure if that's how a crowd of zombies would actually look like. I mean, maybe if they're, I don't know, incredibly crazed. But... You know, this movie's been kind of in the air and it's had several production problems, so we can only hope that those production problems do not show in this movie. I really want it to be a great movie. I haven't have, I haven't really seen a great zombie movie since Zombieland, but I'm sure this is going to be nothing like that. On to the next one, we have Pacific Rim. Uh, this seems like it's kind of a throwback to old, like, 
some old childhood memories of mine. For those of you who watch Power Rangers, the idea of having a bunch of people get into suits and control these giant mechs and fight monsters. But it looks like they're kind of throwing a Godzilla type feeling to it. So this visually looks like a absolutely just wonderful looking movie. I just hope that the battles are entertaining because from what I've seen it looks like it's not unclear as if they're actually in these mechs or if they're just controlling them from another location which would definitely take the suspense out. But yeah, I think this is I'm going to enjoy this the most simply because it's just going to be a reminder of old movies I used to watch growing up. So hopefully Pacific Rim will live up to that. And on to the next one, we have Wolverine. Um, I've been much more of an X-Men fan than a... Sorry if I got darker. Uh, I've been looking forward to Wolverine for a while, although I think the Wolverine Origins movie was pretty disappointing. I can only hope that this takes it in the right direction. And it better be rated R, because Wolverine is the only character you should be doing a rated R movie for in the Marvel series, next to Blade, of course. So, hopefully this will tie into X-Men Days of Futures Past somehow. I mean, I'd like to see it tie in with the storyline that's already been established, but you know, only time will tell. Let's just hope it's better than X-Men Origins. Let's, let's just hope. On to number two, we have Star Trek Into Darkness. Uh, Star Trek, the original one from the 2009, was actually my favorite movie of that year, and I actually enjoyed that one a lot more than I thought it, I would. There were some old school fans that were kind of uh, hating on it, but I think that J.J. Abram kind of established that between the two somewhat reboots of Star Wars and Star Trek, Star Trek was clearly the stronger movie. And from what I've seen of the trailer, it definitely looks like it's going to have a darker tone. And I definitely like darker tone movies than the happy, bright and color lights types of movies that we get most every year. So, very high expectations for this one. And it may hold the contender for a movie of 2013, maybe. But the only other movie above Star Trek Into Darkness I'm looking forward to even more is Man of Steel. Now... I'm not saying this is a DC fanboy, but I'm looking forward to this most to see exactly what they're going to do with the rest of the DC movies. I personally, from what I've seen with this particular trailer, I don't want this Superman going into Justice League. Because I think it would be too soon for him to want to start a team with the Justice League. Superman usually has been doing things for a while before the Justice League is even formed. And... I think that this would be a standalone series on its own, and to see a tie-in with anything might ruin the Superman character in general. And with that, those are my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2013. If you like this video, please like, comment down below, and press the subscribe down to keep track of me in my future videos. And tell me, what are some of your guys' most anticipated movies of 2013? I'd really like to know. So. Comment them down below, and I'll feel free to comment on all of them. And like always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.